What's up guys, Maritime Spook here. Another day where it's like minus 30 out guys, so I decided to come out in the barn and continue doing uh, some videos on some of the knives that I received uh, over the over the holidays. Uh, and that way guys, I said it before, that if I do a, a, an overview of a knife that I have, and then in a video if I use it, I can reference this video to go back and say, well I had a little bit of a talk about it in one uh here's a video to reference it so uh what this knife is right here guys is absolutely awesome and it is the spyderco ark and ark stands for always ready knife that's arc uh so why they call this the ark is this was a knife designed by a uh, combat veteran veteran named john shirley and on his deployments and in things afterwards and deployments that he heard about uh, there were a lot of people who were getting raped, especially women, uh, in the showers. There were a lot of other uh, military personnel, not just soldiers, but like interpreters and, you know, cooks and medical personnel that were getting raped and harassed and all this stuff. And a lot of the time it focused uh, around, you know, getting cleaned up. If you're in the shower, somebody was, you know, there were people getting groped. There were people actually all out getting raped and everything else. So what he wanted to do was he wanted to have something that the person could have on them at all times in a defensive situation, but it would be cool enough that they could carry it all. They'd want to carry it all the time because it was useful to do tasks with. Um, so what he what he came up with, him and his friend uh, had came up with this knife right here, the arc, arc the design, and uh, this is the generation two. And the only difference in the generation one and two is they actually have this little thing here to push in. For the knife to come in and out because the kydex sheath that they had before um it didn't have this and over time of using it because what this has become is not only just a knife for uh, military personnel it's become very popular with people who uh, work out in gyms and things like that so and joggers especially uh people that work in you know that jog people that are in the gym uh, military personnel, like I said, is there all the time. Knife, it's even in the shower. Uh, people that live on the beach, divers. It's kind of taken on this own like cult following of all these different things, which is very cool. Uh, so, one thing that uh, the big, uh, the big, we'll say, claim to fame of this knife is that it's pretty much uh, impervious to corrosion. And why that is, guys, is because if you look it up. Uh, it's like got like this little hologrammy type thing here, and it says H1 right there. Uh, H1 steel is a very, very, uh, pretty much impervious to corrosion. Um, it probably could rust in certain situations, but if you take care of it for surely, it is not going to rust. They make a lot of knives by Spyderco that are the uh, Pacific Salt. Uh, for like the Pacific Ocean uh, series, they have a whole bunch of them, and uh, they're all in the H1 steel, and they're carried by divers, fishermen, um, you know, people that work around salt water, people that work around just any water, so people that are on rafters, you know, all these different types of knives, like rescue knives, um, Coast Guard type uh, type of knife. If you think about if you think about a knife that would go on your uh, life jacket. You know, that's the series. Uh, and this arc fits right into that because it has the H1 steel. And you can see there a little bit. Uh, it has another little marking uh, right there, which is a little S, and that's for Shirley. And it says uh, Spyderco H1. And then on the other side, uh, Seki City, Japan. So it's made in Japan. Anything made in Seki City, awesome. Uh, awesome, awesome steels. Uh, so I love that it's made in Japan. That's That's sick. I got a little lanyard on it there. It didn't even really need it, guys, even though this is like a three-fingered like knife. It just fits your hand absolutely perfect, even without that little paracord lanyard. Uh, no matter what grip I had it in, even just the three fingers, um, it was just super locked in there because it has that multi-directional Spyderco texture. So it's very, very grippy, and they did that that way. So if your hands were wet, uh, bloody, or anything like that, it's not going to slip out. So, I mean, you've got this wicked, wicked grip. Uh, if you want to look at it like an EDC standpoint, which is how I look at it, I'm not thinking of this as defensive at all. Um, you know, you for opening boxes, I mean, there's just like 30 different little grips you can put with this knife in your hand. And in every one of them, it's comfortable. Uh, reverse grip is super, super comfortable, you know, for, for that. So, although it was made as, we'll say, a defensive knife for military personnel, 
it's became a very very good uh knife for edc and for the working man on the ocean so i really love that guys i you know i live not far from i used to live right on the ocean and now i don't you know, i still don't live real real far away from it i've moved since but uh you know i live in the atlantic can atlantic canada along the atlantic ocean so having the H1 and having a knife that is used by all kinds of different fishermen and all that, you know, just great, great thing to have. Uh, so right off the bat, you're gonna sit, you're gonna be able to say, well, for you know, or I'm gonna say fishing, uh, water sports, um, you know, rafting, just all these different uh, things. This knife is gonna excel at that. They have a fully serrated uh, model of this, which is called the Spidey Edge. And they put the spidey edge on a lot of their knives, and I guess that is awesome as a knife that you can mount to your uh, life jacket because it's serrated, so it's cutting through rope like a samurai sword. So, obviously, I've got the plain edge version right here. It has almost like this, you know, upswept, almost like Bowie looking kind of thing going on. But talk about a a uh, you know a comfortable little knife, guys. I put. Uh, this little uh, Sabenza type knot at the end of it. So I do get a full grip on it, which I didn't even, like I said, guys, I didn't even really need to do that. That was just to try it out. And I mean, I could take that off and it would still be just as comfortable to use. Um, in EDC, I've been using a lot like this to open things, just putting it in and having my finger. Uh, the sheath is immaculate, guys. I love the sheath, and this is this is a Gen 2 version. They had a Generation 1, and it didn't have this little uh, clip type thing here. And over time, people had been using it, like a lot of people had been using it for jogging and things, and they were running along, and over time, the retention got bad, and sometimes the knife had even fallen out. Now, the way they have it set up, that knife is not coming out of there. It has this thing here. You just push your butt, push it down a little bit, and pull the knife out. And it locks with really, really good, like, positive retention. Uh, this knife's also ambidextrous. So if you're right-handed and you want to carry it and pull it with your right hand, you just, you wear it this way with this button facing the left. If you want to carry it the right-handed way, you wear it this way and you just push out. So you can wear it any way you want. And I wear it, obviously, to pull it with my right hand. I'm ambidextrous myself. So I can use, I use both hands for different tasks all day, but my knife hand is my right hand, even though I write with my left hand. So I carry it right handed. So just a great, great little knife, guys. Uh, H1, super corrosion resistant, um, but it's not like super like 3V that or one of those that they say it's like a super steel to like for edge retention you're going to look at this more like a, an AUS 8 something like that you know you, you can slide it through a ceramic rod a few times and get it right back to razor blade sharp um, it'll scratch up a lot it's one of them type of steels that you know over time you're going to get little scratches on it and whatnot but you know it, who cares kind of thing with scratches guys uh, so lots of lashing points on the sheath though it has a nice drainage hole there at the end you can see right through it but you can lash this and put clips on it and do all that. I've just gone, grown to love just wearing it around my neck, guys. So I'll show you. And today I've got uh, the basically perfect Oatsy the Iceman knife by Condor around my neck. But anytime I go anywhere in the town or even lately just around the house, I've been wearing this Spyderco Arc. So just awesome awesome little knife guys i mean there you go pull it out put your finger right there on the button and then you got it out there for your edc for anything i mean if you are somebody that may want it in a defensive situation see that positive click when it goes in then you can uh obviously have it for that as well but it came with this ball chain stuff here. You may want that. You may not. I'm just trying it out, guys. I may end up obviously switching it out with paracord. Uh, but right now, I actually like it. Uh, lately, I have really liked it. And I love wearing a neck knife, guys. I usually clamp my keys to it and just different stuff when I'm going out to get, uh, you know, the vehicle started. I'll clamp my keys with a carabiner on it. So I've got it there. And, uh... You know, I just love it, guys. Great, great little knife. These are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but for what you're getting, the steel you're getting, that's, you know, not going to rust on you, and the capabilities of this little knife, because it came razor blade sharp, and it's I know it's going to be very easy to get that edge back. 
you're getting a great little package right here, guys. So that's the Spyderco Arc Neck Knife. You're going to see it in more videos of mine, guys, in the bush and uh, definitely EDC tasks. And I just love it. So just a little uh, perspective of the size of it. Here is the Spyderco ARK Arc, and here's a Zippo. <laughs> so, I mean, you can see, guys, it's not... It's not a great big knife by any stretch of the imagination. You know, it's like two and a half, two and a quarter, half Zippo's long. <laughs> so, but for what you're getting, great knife. Anyway, guys, Spook signing out. Stay tuned. Got lots more coming up. I just figured I'd show you that. And I greatly appreciate all you guys. Stay safe.